Hello guys and welcome to vlog number eight. Um, so today, um, first of all, my new intro. Um, I said about it yesterday, and um, now my mate has made me another one for my new Euro 2012 series. I was gonna um start. So basically, uh, on um Thursday, I'm gonna do like a proper video, but like a proper Euro 2012 preview, preview each group and all that lot. But for now, I'm just gonna talk about my predictions for each group and talk about a couple um results that happened last night in the Euro 2012 warm up friendlies. So basically, let's just get the groups off in a minute. Um, right, Group A: um, Czech Republic, Greece, Poland, and Russia. So out of this group, I think um. Ooh, I think Russia will go through because I um and to be honest, Poland, Greece, or Czech Republic, it could be either one of them. If I had to pick one, it would probably be Poland, just because I think they're maybe the strongest team out of them lot. And then the Group B, obviously the Group of Death: Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, and Portugal. I think it will be. Hmm. I think it'll be Germany and Netherlands that go through. I just think Portugal too weak and um after that result yesterday against Turkey wasn't a great result. And um Group C, Croatia, Italy, Republic of Ireland and Spain. Um Spain and Italy, I think, but it would be close. Republic of Ireland and Croatia de definitely could go through. I'm not I'm not um denying that, but I think it will be Spain and Italy. But Italy I don't know, I think they might be a bit weak by oh, now. Um, and then finally Group D, which is obviously England's group. England, France, Sweden and Ukraine. Um, I can see France kind of strolling for it. Maybe a draw against us and then two wins. And to be honest, I see the same for England as well, but it won't be in the stroll in the park because yeah, we're England after all and um, we never do it the easy way. So just a couple of... Um, Stories from last night. Um, Portugal um were beaten by Turkey, and um, Nani scored for Portugal. It was a it was a shock to me. I thought they were going to probably beat Turkey, but there we go. It's football. Anything can happen. And um, Netherlands six, Northern Ireland nil. Um, I was expecting Netherlands to win quite easily, but not six nil. And um yeah, but Netherlands are a very good team and I think probably one of my favourites to win the Euro twenty twelve. So my three predictions for the winners of Euro twenty twelve is um England, because I think Roy Hodgson has got us defending really well at the moment. Um Germany and Spain and Netherlands, sorry for them. Because I think Spain are the best in the world, my favourites. Um, Netherlands, closely behind Spain. Maybe, I think the rankings show Netherlands is the best in the world, but you know those rankings are never really fair reflection. And um, Germany have got a real strong team. And um, they're unlucky. They've been unlucky in a couple of tournaments now, so I think they could go on and win it this year. But... They're not my favourite. Spain is still my favourites. But um, anyway, guys, you'll see my new intro at the start of the video. Um, it will just that will just be for my Euro 2012 videos. My other videos will be the intro you saw on yesterday's second part. Um, I hope you like it. Um, Ryan Cox made it, so thanks again. I think I mentioned him yesterday in one of my videos. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I've been told about four to six minutes is a right length for a video. So people don't get too bored because I think 10 minutes was too long. But I was just trying to make up for it. Like because the first one was quite short. But anyway guys thanks for watching vlog number 8. And I'll catch you guys on Thursday for my Euro 2012 preview. Cheers.